Hey guys, Silent No Pain, and this is part two of my Kino de Totem Let's Play on Black Ops 1 in preparation for Black Ops 2. I think I said part two. I hope I did. So, this, the first part was really about tips and tricks, and this one is going to be, um, I'm going to have a few tips and tricks kind of mixed in with the video, but I wanted to talk about something um, because I saw um, Fear Crads posted a video about this a couple days ago, I think it was two days ago, and the subject of the video was something that I could really relate to too because it happened to me, and the subject was, um, he said his parents thought he was gay, and I mean, I, my parents kind of felt the same thing, they didn't necessarily say it in the same way his did, like they, they didn't say it in front of me, but they would kind of make comments like, um, like just jokingly thought I was, um, they were like, oh, you know, it doesn't really matter, we, we wouldn't love you any less or something like that. And th they would say stuff like that, and at first I didn't really think anything of it. And then I, um, one of my mom, uh, one of my mom's friends, I hang out with him a lot, because, I mean, I get along better with him than she does. But, I mean, I was talking to him and I told him, just jokingly, that I thought my, it seemed like my parents thought I was gay. And he told me that, um, uh, my mom had asked him, had asked him if he thought I was gay because I mean he's gay, which so it's kind of confusing. So he's gay, and um, my mom asked him if he thought I was gay too because I, well she didn't really give me a reason why she just asked me if he thought he, I was, and he said no. Um, and it turns out I guess he even thought I was gay, like when he first met me I was I think I was about twelve, thirteen maybe, and. He just, I don't, he said he didn't really know why, it's, it was just kind of like I was really innocent and didn't, it was really weird, but he said he thought I would, he might, I might be gay and everything, and everyone seems to think I was, I'm gay, just let me clarify, I'm not, I'm, I'm pretty freaking straight, I love boobs, but, I mean, part of it is, I don't, I mean, the reason I think my parents think I was gay is, I don't necessarily like talking about women in front of them, because I just, I don't find it very, it's not very comfortable. It's just kind of weird to me because, I mean, I, I mean, I realize you're supposed to be able to trust your parents with anything, but I just I don't really feel that way, in the same respect with my parents because I don't feel like I can trust to them to talk about women to them, and I think that's part of the problem, or part of the reason that I was gay. I think my dad might still think I'm gay. I'm not really sure, but. So they thought I was gay, and also for that reason. And also, I think it has something to do with, um, like, for some reason, the way I walk, I guess, every, I mean, not just my parents, but friends too, they say sometimes I have a tendency, like, when I'm really mad, to walk like a girl, and just kind of, like, really narrow, like, like, one foot in front of the other, and just extremely kind of skinny. Like, it's, I don't know how to describe it, but. Everyone says I kind of walk like a girl when I get really angry, and so I guess that was another reason they thought. But it's just, I think it's kind of funny, almost, because my, my parents uh, and other people thought I was gay, but like, um, my best friend, uh, Leo, I mean, we are like probably the farthest thing away from gay because we will just spend, like, when we spend the night at each other's house. We just spend the entire night talking about um, I mean, just boobs and just random stuff. And if they had this stuff, they, I know they wouldn't think out. Well, actually, they probably still would think I'm gay and just trying to cover it up or something. Who knows? But I mean, it's just kind of funny when your parents think you're gay for some reason. You know? And you know, if anybody, if any of you guys have had this happen to you, if uh, somebody thought you was gay, if thought you were gay. Uh, um, or if you're a girl, if somebody thought you were a lesbian or something, just because of something you did. I mean, leave a comment in the, um, down below and just kind of tell me about it. I think, I always think it's an interesting topic just because it's something that isn't really a big deal. I mean, it doesn't really matter if you're gay. I, just, I have no problem with gay when one of my best friends is gay. And it really isn't that big of a deal, but it seems to be like when somebody calls you gay or somebody thinks you're gay, people get really offended, even if they have no problem with actually being gay. Like people that are gay, they just get really funny when somebody calls them gay, and I just think it's kind of an interesting, to interesting topic. It's a bit weird to talk about, I know, but 
you know, thumbs up. It might get better eventually. So, I guess that's as much as I can say on that topic. So I guess I'll get back to um, the gameplay, which is probably a little bit less interesting than what I just said. Just bear with me. I kind of ran out of things to talk about right now. I figured that was going to take the whole 10 minutes. But the gameplay, I, I know it really isn't the greatest. It's probably pretty boring, and there's a lot of um, things like it on YouTube. But, I mean, it's something that even though there are a lot of it on YouTube, a lot of people, first of all, a lot of them kind of assume you know how to get to round 15, 20, and up, and they just kind of start from round 20 or 30. Because, I mean, getting to round 15 and 20, it doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal, or that complicated, but it, those, in my opinion, are the hardest rounds because it's when you have to, like, establish your strategy and you have to get the guns, the points, and the perks, and all that kind of stuff. And it takes a long time to kind of get it down to just something you can do regularly. And unfortunately, I haven't been playing zombies in, um, it's probably been about a month or two since I played zombies intensely. And I just started getting back into it because of Black Ops 2, trying to kind of prepare myself for it. But, I mean, I used to play, and I think, um, it probably took me two three months after Black Ops came out, before I was kind of, maybe it was longer than that, I don't remember, three, four months, before I could get to, um, oh, and there I'm shooting the radio, if you don't know, it's in the chandelier, you shoot it with any gun. I mean, it took me quite a while before I could get to round 20 or 30 I mean, regularly without any difficulties, because, I mean, it really does take a while to figure out kind of your strategy and how, um, a lot of it, there is a a certain element of luck that kind of plays into it, like getting good guns from the box if you use the box. So in this case, um, just being able to use the MP40 until you get enough points to pack a punch it and you're starting to pistol. But the first rounds are really crucial, and a lot of people overlook them or they assume that you know how to get to them. That's kind of why I want to make this a little bit different. I want to make it from start to finish. But see, so, and up until um, I guess round 28 on this. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that out there. But up until the very end, I am running the, the same strategy. And it's a strategy that, I mean, the Syndicate Rape Train, you can just, you just run around in cycles. And you can use it up to any round. I've used it up to round uh, 50. Yeah, 50. On the same map. And I've done it on high, le on high levels on different maps too. Like on, I mean, you can do it on almost any map. The only map that I think is kind of challenging to do it on is uh, Nocturne Totem on the uh, World at War, just because it's so small and it, it just it is kind of hard to do, especially because you're waiting for all the zombies to spawn in. And, I mean, it takes a while to get 24 zombies to spawn in when there's that few spawns, but I mean, it works for almost any other map. And Moon is one that it, you have to kind of think about it a little more. And, a little bit challenging. Moon is definitely a challenging map, there's no denying that. But, I mean, once you can kind of figure out your rape train and or whatever other strategy you want to use, I mean, there's plenty of other things. Some people like to just not really run around in cycles, but they'll just run around from window to window killing people. Or, um, like some people, and I used to do this like when I first started because I didn't really know what else to do, I would just camp in a corner. Um, I think I used to camp over by uh, where Juggernaut is and just kind of let the zombies funnel in to me. And I think the highest I could ever get off of that was like round 13 or something like that. It was pretty low and kind of sad. But I mean, when you first start out, you were like, oh, well, round 13, that's pretty good. But once you start getting into high rounds, like 20, 30, 40, 50, it, it becomes like, you look back on it, and it's a little, I don't want to say sad, because there's still something to be said. I mean, because it is the beginning, so you can't be too hard on yourself, but it's kind of, you kind of look at it like, how how could I not um, do this? Like, when I first started and all that kind of stuff, like, how did it take me this long to figure this strategy out? But, I mean, this strategy is something that, I mean, you can, you're continually having to change it because of the new maps and everything. I mean, just rape training or whatever strategy you use. But especially rape training because, you know, just the later maps, 
they, they keep making it harder and harder by, uh, like Moon, they took out, and there's no gravity, so it makes it really hard to do. Um, with Shangri-La, it's kind of hard to do because there aren't many wide open spaces. And then like Call of the Dead, you have George, and they're just finding ways to make it a little bit harder because so many people are doing it. And it, it makes the game a little bit easy, easier than I think they really want it to be. But, um, I mean, they can't really take it out completely because you just can't do that. People, like, people are always going to find a way to rape trains. It's inevitable. But, as always, uh, this has been part two in my Canada Totem uh, Let's Play walkthrough strategy guide. And this has been Silent Nova Game. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and please leave a rating and a comment um, just based on the video. And remember, if you have, if anybody has ever thought you were gay, please leave a comment. I would love to hear about it. And I'll try and respond to any comments or questions. Thanks. Bye.